The power play was bad again. They're facing an 0-3 hole in the second round of a Stanley Cup or bust season. It's okay to be frustrated. It's okay to be disappointed. Oh, we are. It's okay to lash out appropriately. <laughs> don't don't damage any property. Don't insult anybody else. But but it's it's okay. It's okay to be upset. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. I'm Tim Donnelly. Graham Hill here producing the show. Dennis uh, got an early jump on the weekend, and I'm sure many want to. Maybe just they want to come in because of the game. Who knows? I, I mean, I don't blame them. <laughs> There's probably a lot of people calling in sick about 10 o'clock last night. You know what? I don't, I don't want to go into work tomorrow. And and do you know what I'm I'm here for? I'm here to to walk back some of the well actually. We talk about the well actually, right? Some of the well we lost, but actually we played well. Some of the uh the Canes lost in overtime again, but they've all been one one goal or less games, right? One goal in regulation or less, one goal or overtime. Rod Brindamore did a little bit of that after the game last night. Here's uh here's the coach. Well, I mean, we're, we're not we're not executing very well. And they're you gotta give them credit. They're, they're you know doing a great job on the kill. We did have you know I thought the first two or two and a half power plays was actually quite good. We got a lot of good looks and then gave up that shorty and then I thought we just kind of got away from what we were originally trying to do. And obviously that's been it's uh, three games in a row same story. Which, uh, I hate it for the guys because we were playing really, I think, really well. You take that part of it out of it, it's, uh, you know, been, been, I've done everything that we've asked the guys to do. This is going to sound crazy. Playing well doesn't matter. Not in that sense. Not, not in that wording. Playing well doesn't matter. There's one kind of playing well that matters. Playing well enough to win is all that matters in the postseason. I, I've I've seen so many. The Canes are outplaying the the Rangers, except Canes are outplaying the Rangers, except for special teams. Canes are playing the rain, outplaying the Rangers, except for the power play. The Canes are outplaying the Rangers, except for Igor Shosturkin. The Canes are outplaying the Rangers, except there is no except. The Canes are not outplaying the Rangers in the only way it matters, which is the final score. I'm tired of hearing about how the margin for error is so small in the postseason uh, and, and, and the Canes are doing this well and that well and the other thing well. The fact of the matter is, yes, the margin of error for, for, for the postseason is very, very small. You know that before the postseason begins and the best teams find a way to tilt that small margin of error in your own favor. You don't take bad penalties. You don't take poorly timed penalties. You win in the special teams. Your stars make the one more big play. The stars don't have their their great plays wasted. I thought Svetch was great yesterday. I thought Svetch played his best game. I'm not just of the series, but the entire playoff series and maybe the whole season. I mean, you can go back months. I'll agree yeah. with that. Jake Gensel, again, playoff Gensel, three goals in the last two games. Those outputs, they're good for the offseason when you're trying to decide who you want to build around. They're great for the offseason when you're talking about who you want to (laughs) re-sign, Jake Gensel. They're great for the offseason. But in the in the postseason, they're 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 nothing but footnotes. The headline is you lost. The footnote is in overtime. The footnote is, but Svetch played well. The footnote is, but Gensel had another goal. It's the same as last year's Eastern Conference Finals loss to the Panthers. Mm. And loss to the Panthers. One goal losses, multiple overtime losses. Same thing, right? Same story, different different year. Same story, different round of the postseason. But I said it before this series. I said it before the game last night. I don't want to be explaining all offseason. Yeah. I don't want to be, be, you know, off season, hanging out with my buddies, right? Be it a be it a wedding, be it a gathering, and and some Bruins fan, some doesn't even have to be someone that was in the postseason, right? Some uh, Devils fan wants to go. Sheesh, 
got smoked by the Rangers. I don't want to have to sit there and go, well, well, actually, it wasn't a smoke, right? They they didn't they didn't bulldoze them. It was actually each individual game was pretty close, and and one thing here, one thing there, one power play here, one power play there, everything could have been different. I don't want to have to do that. We've done that for an entire off season already. Figure out why you are so darn often on the wrong side of the one goal in overtime games. Why are you not built for the small margin of error coming into your favor? That's what you need to fix. You'd think that's what you would have fixed after last season. Jordan Stahl on the, the if there is a similarity in all of these one goal losses. Well, I mean, it's a little bit of a broken broke record, obviously. I think our special teams could be better, power plays. Got to sneak in a couple goals or a goal or two. It's just going to get us in a better position to, to end games. And, um, yeah, um, five and five games, it's been it's been good. Um, has it been great? Have we completely buried teams? No, they're a good team too. But um, I think um, there's a few few things on the special team side I think we can get better at. And um, we'll, we'll start with uh, getting better at tomorrow. And then we'll... Uh, Find a way to win it, win a game. When do other teams have to start having those conversations about the Canes? Yeah, it, it, we're going on year six, so that it feel like the Canes are always on this side of the conversation. I, I for the first three or four, it felt like they were building. Right? It, it was obviously they had the magical run to the Eastern Conference Finals to well, yeah. start things off, and Let's then take it was. Then it was make it to the first round. Then it was make it to the second round. Then it was make it to the Eastern Conference. There was building, but but there was always that end of, well, you know, always that end of the, the games were actually closer than you think. I'm going, well, when does someone else get to describe it as the games were closer than you think, but the Canes were winning them all? Yeah. The best teams find a way to tilt the close games in their favor. They have the clutch players. They have the goalie that doesn't give up the game winner. They, 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 the best teams find a way, and they're built that way, and they train for that way. It's why I was saying all gosh darn year, the Canes couldn't prove anything to me in the regular season. Because the regular season is big sample size, Right. The regular season, you look at things by months. The Oh, how did you do in December? How did you do in January? You look at things in the biggest possible way. In the postseason, it might only be four games. right? We, we even did that exercise. If you listen to the show often, first of all, thank you. But we did that exercise starting about midseason where we were looking at everything in, in four to seven game uh, um, kind of breakdowns. right? You couldn't lose four out of seven. You have to go an entire run. You have to go months in the postseason without losing four out of seven. You start. You have to start thinking in that way. You have to start thinking in 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 the clutch. You're playing well, just well enough to lose respectably. You also need guys to come up in the clutch outside of Andre Svechikov last night, score with a minute and thirty six left in regulation. But Panarin, I mean, or, or even Svech. Yeah. It, right. If Svetch wanted to score a goal late in the game when it was tied, could have been the difference. If if Svetch wanted to score in overtime, it could have been the difference. Svetch played very, very, very well. There are guys that aren't to blame, right? Like I'm not blaming Aho. I think six points in, in three games. Like, how can you blame Aho? I'm not blaming Gensel. He's woken up. He has three goals in the last two. I'm not blaming Svetch. He played really, really well yesterday. Mowed down the opponents. He was he was you know, running them over left and right. Not blaming them, but that doesn't mean there's not one more play they could have made. And the best teams make one more play. The Canes, as of right now, are not one of the the best teams. It's fair to to say, right? You can't call yesterday a must win, then they lose, and then come in today in a good mood. You can't. Must win means they must win. You had to win it in order to come in today as as anything different than the vibe we're bringing. 